David. If you woke the baby storming through the door like that, where the hell have you been? I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> I got a splitting headache, okay? David, is that a flask? Oh, you stink of whiskey. I've had a long day. I'm just trying to clear my head. David, what is happening? Every night, you're either out at these horrible bars or you're blacking out alone in your study. If you're in pain, talk to me. I can help. You can't oh my God. do what this does! <laughs> What's it do? It uh, cuts through the noise. Right? <laughs> gives, me, uh, gives me gravity. And whatever else used to do that for me in my life is dead now. Uh, maybe forever? I don't know. But I do know that when I'm sober, and I look at my life, and my job, and even you and the baby. <laughs> it all just starts to look like, uh... Like what? Like a big joke! I am just a man who happens to enjoy a drink every now and then. <laughs> Don't you watch me. <sighs> there it is. I can, uh, I can feel it. It's like, uh, it's like I can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, Lakeford Ace presents a salute to alcohol! Sean Kristianichovich! Ann Carr! Dan Chamberlain! Sean Hart! Lydia Scott! Great party, Jen. Oh, thanks, Mark. Happy holidays. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Have I got a story for you? Uh, my brother is studying abroad in Spain right now, yeah. and uh, he got to try ads. You know. Oh, oh, don't don't say that word. Don't don't say it. Well, why not? Because if if Greg and Mary hear that word, they're gonna have to prove how much they know about absinthe. Uh, did somebody say absinthe? <laughs> 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 Mary, your knowledge of absinthe is as full of holes as the slotted spoons traditionally used to serve absinthe. <laughs> Greg, you sound as bitter as the anise used to flavor the unsweet green. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we're off to tonight's know-it-all absinthe competition. Looks like we have a couple of grade-A snobs in the ring. And just as a reminder, the only way to score points in a know-it-all absinthe competition is to state a fact about absinthe that everyone in the world already knows. That's right, Peter. No new facts tonight. Let's take a look. You know the absinthe sold in the United States isn't real absinthe. Ooh, points to Mary. Ah, uh, yes, that would be because it is uh, illegal here. One can only procure true absinthe in Europe or Argentina. Yes. All right, points for Greg. Points for Greg. Points for Greg. Yes, and you can't bring it back to the U.S. because customs will confiscate it. It happened to my... Cousin. <laughs> wow, points and double points for telling an obvious lie. All right, let's get ready for round two. All right, 
something to watch for in round two is if the contestants can really up their levels of condescension. Yeah, really excited to see some well-trod absent territory in round two hallucinations. Of course, uh, due to uh, absence of uh, uh, hallucinogenic uh, qualities, the great poets, uh, Baudelaire et al., yes, yes, uh, would refer to it as uh, the green fairy. Yes. All right, points for the green fairy. Yes, yes. yes, absinthe does contain wormwood, but not enough to actually hallucinate. Whoa, wormwood <laughs> points right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Curious, uh, Mary, because uh, when I was studying abroad in Amsterdam, uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I would often have uh, visions while enjoying uh, absinthe over sugar cubes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Big points for Greg mentioning Amsterdam and seamlessly moving into round three, the fucking sugar cubes. The fucking <laughs> sugar cubes. The most pointless part of the entire know-it-all absinthe competition. Really excited to go with round three here. No! 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 Well, oh. never seen this before. We are moving right from round three into round four right now. <laughs> where people will have conversations and not just lecture at each other. Wow, Jenny is making it really tough right here. Now, the competition doesn't end until both contestants apologize. If, yes, but... Uh, if you've... Uh, it's I a, digress, but... If you've seen Moulin Rouge. Okay, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, yeah. Yeah. we're really on the edge of our seats here as we wait and see the, ponder, the contestants ponder their choices. Uh, in the yeah, conversation or friendship. Uh, the, the thing of it is... <laughs> I, if you just let me... Such stammering. I, 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 I guess I just assumed that everyone this was interested. I'm, like sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I guess I sometimes get carried away. And that's it. Both contestants have apologized. Let's tally up the results and see who won. All right. Well, looking over our score sheet, the winner is obvious. No one. Decide between the yummy penny and uh, the three blind mice. I don't know. These all look amazing. This place is hip. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how's everyone doing this evening? Hey. Hey, what can I get for us? Oh, I'm going to have the frisky fall leaf. Great. Yeah, and I'm going to get the White House with a twist. Okay, wonderful. I will have the hot oatmeal. Excellent. And I'll have the Damon Wayans Jr. All right, great. Yeah. Right back. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the biscuit. <laughs> So, Penelope, now that you're a big lawyer, yeah. I'm wondering, can you give me some legal advice? Oh, jeez, Beth! No, I'm bad. You know it. <laughs> okay. I've got one frisky fall leaf. Ooh, White House yeah. with a twist. Yeah. Good old Damon Wayne Jr. Thank you. <laughs> and a hot oatmeal. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be a drink. Oh, no, it's hot oatmeal. It's kind of like breakfast cereal, but it has a grainy, <laughs> sticky texture to it. Um, sometimes yeah. a little light sweetness, but listen, it depends how you do it. Listen, cutie. <laughs> I know what oatmeal is. Yeah, I got a 179 on the LSATs. <laughs> um, all right, you know what? Let me just have a uh, cornhole. No ice. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so cheers. Oh, no, 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 no. no, honey, we can't cheers until I have a drink. All right. Yeah. No, no, but go ahead and drink. We just have to wait to cheers. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. <laughs> oh, mine's good. Hot. <laughs> Hot. So, uh, Penn, you know, uh, you're a real inspiration to all of us. Oh, yeah, it's okay. just. Four years ago, what were you doing? You were a mall Santa, and here you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one corn. 
What is that? Oh, cornhole. It's kind of like a uh, cornbread donut. We fry it up, we throw a little brown sugar on it. We never serve okay. it with ice, of course. All right. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm out with my friends and I'm trying to order a drink because we're celebrating me. Sure. So, let's try this again. Can you tell me which of these are drinks? Sure. Uh, that one. Okay. Uh, that one. Those three minus one. Um, <laughs> maybe that one and sometimes those. But. Okay. Well, I feel lucky I got a drink, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the drunken noodles. It's got drunken in the name. So. It also has noodles. But. Okay, just, <laughs> just, 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 just go look pretty, okay? Okay, so cheers. Cheers. Oh, now, yeah. Beth, you were saying that you needed some legal advice? Um, I'm just going to get a public <laughs> defender. Mm. <laughs> okay. No! This is just more food. I came out to drink, and I'm not getting drunk. I'm just getting full and sober. Okay, Pen. Pen. Why don't you just get a Damon Wayans Jr.? Everybody knows that's a drink. Mm -hmm. No, because I have something to prove now. I'm supposed to be a lawyer, and I feel really stupid because I can't even order a drink in this dumb bar or restaurant or whatever the it is. Just, just give me, give me a second. Okay. Well, while she decides, I uh, I finished my demo wounds, and uh, I'll just have a slice of cheese pizza. No, don't get that. It's just more food. Either way, I'm gonna be cool with it. <laughs> um, can I get the cash only? Oh, that's a restaurant rule. <laughs> I, 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 I give up. I, uh, fine. Yeah, nothing for me. Okay. Great. Nothing for me. I'll just get nothing. I'm sorry. This bar is really hard. Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. What's this? Oh, wait, nothing for me is a round of shots. that Christ used at the Last Supper. The same chalice that caught his blood. I get it, I get it. Listen, and... I don't have time to explain. I've got something very... Out of the way, Jones! I work for the Nazis now. <laughs> Which one's the grail? You must choose, but choose wisely. For just as the true grail will give you eternal life, the false grail shall take it away. You go, choose. I choose this. That's a book. <laughs> Think about it. Jesus was in the Bible. The Bible is a book. There's only one book in this room. This is the grail. No, it's just a book. But the true grail is somewhere in this room. Out of the way, Jones, I'll choose. Yes, I remind you to choose wisely. For just as the true grail will grant you eternal life, a false grail will give you everlasting torment, flesh searing from your bones, meat falling from your bind, you walk past the table. It's not in that room. Not because I'm hiding it, but there's nothing in there. <laughs> Jesus 
was a man. What do men eat every day? Lunch. 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 That's my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> the grail is the meat in this sandwich. Oh, this truly is the cup of the king of kings. Are you listening to yourself? The cup of the king of kings. It needs to be a cup. <laughs> to eternal life! Don't drink from the meat. Yes. Oh. 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 Did it work? How did the cup be made of ham? It didn't work. <laughs> Choosing has made me oh so thirsty. God, I don't know. I could use a drink. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's have, let's all have a nice drink. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. A toast. Hey, to living forever. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> filet mignon, so whatever goes best with that. <laughs> All right, that's a classic wine food. I love that. <laughs> with this 2003 filet mignon, it has notes of cedar, smoke, tobacco, among other things. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to smell all of those notes, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can teach you. I have a really, really great way to do it. Oh, what a treat. Yeah. So. The trick is to remember that all of the wine notes are there in your nose. You just have to bring them out, all right? I like to use my senses to let the wine tell me a story. So sniff with me, and we'll find the story. Oh, yum. There's that cedar I was talking about. Cedar. Cedar, like, like the floor is on an old house in Wisconsin. Imagine yourself, you're in that very house on a chilly night, maybe feeling the warmth of the family stove from below. Mmm, I can smell the Just cedar. Just stay, stay in it. Just stay in it. <laughs> There's something else coming through the cedar. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's like sugar, but, I don't know, but, but burning, it's burning, it's uh, it's smoke, it's smoke. Yeah, that's what it is, it's definitely smoke. Oh, do you smell it? Yeah, yeah. Shh. <laughs> the wine is talking. 
<laughs> Beverly? Beverly? That's your mother's name. Beverly? Did you burn my cookies? <gasps> That's Papa, tired after a long day of work. But where is your mother? Where can she be? I bet the wine knows. <laughs> Oh, yes, there she is. There she is. She's in the bathroom smoking a tobacco cigarette. You let the notes of tobacco and the notes of smoke cloud together, intoxicating you, coming over you, letting you take it all in until... Beverly! Beverly! Get out of there! I'm gonna punish you for messing my cookies! Oh no, it sounds like there's gonna be a big, huge fight, so you run downstairs to try to stop it. Papa! No! I'll make you more cookies! I can do it! I'm gonna work at a fancy restaurant someday! <laughs> Too late, child! I'm gonna push your fucking mother in the oven! <laughs>
had a glass of wine, and then, <coughs> oh, no, just the glass of wine. <laughs> I guess this is depression. <laughs>
Mayor your talk city Place Citizens for New Theater. We have seven nights a week. You can find more information online at ucbtheater.com. At this time, we need to completely clear out for the next...